It's a coffee talk. It's a coffee talk. And if you've ever listened to us before, don't just go away because we said coffee talk. Yeah. You don't want to hear about this culture. Yeah. I want to talk about culture because I know we're going into the new year. Happy new year, Mr. Craig. Oh, happy new year, Mr. Jason. Yeah. Well, you know, one question that uh, always comes up is about culture in the agency. How do you build a team that's, uh, you know, happy? How do you build? Um, and, and you and I have had many times that the agency was great or the agency wasn't great. Mm-hmm. Right. So yep. what are the ingredients? What are the elements that make up a good culture in an agency? And I have a few of them for you. Oh, do you? I do. do Insurance dudes are on a mission to escape being handcuffed by our agencies. How? By uncovering the secrets to creating a predictable, consistent, and profitable agency sales machine. I am Craig Pretzinger. I am Jason Feldman. We are agents. We are insurance dudes. One fact about this is a great culture in an agency is by design. It doesn't just happen. So if if you're not thinking about this, if you don't, if you're not really thinking about how do I make uh, this agency great, how do I, what what do I have to do to my for my team, not to my team, but for my team, mm-hmm. in order to create a great culture? And I know I thought about this so many times when I first started. In in man, horrible at the culture, but I realized that it, more coffee, more yeah. Coffee. <laughs> Which is part of it, right? Offering uh-huh. them. Uh, yeah. It's its an offer. And that's what's crazy. And we just talked about um, selling. And yeah. uh, when it comes to our team, like, you know, moving back from that selling to, towards the uh, to, to new clients and our, our current clients, but then moving into helping our team. And that's who that we're selling now. So that's, that's what I think is incredibly important. And, and not to, even if you are selling on the front end, you have to look at it like you're selling to your team as well. Yeah. And so how do we sell a good culture in our, in our agency? Um, how do we? I have three, three things, three things. And as we're starting the new year, I think every agency needs to do these th- three things. Oh, first. Get out. Yeah. Get your pin out. Maybe lick the end of it. And then, so you, so it'll, Yeah. <laughs> First thing is core values. Oh yeah. Core values. What are core values and why are they important? Well, why 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 are they important? Why? Because these this is the way we operate, right? Yeah. This is yeah. um the quick guide on how to handle any situation in the agency. And so many times we're quick to show a process of, oh, this is how you make notes or like like a tactic but we need a philosophy. We need a way to handle every situation. Right. Like selling with integrity, right? Like having something like this is our, one of our values, right? Right. And it, and it's, it's also really important that they're not just BS. Like you see a lot of like the really big corporations and they have all their values up on the wall. And then, you know, you talk to the people that work there like, yeah, none of that. Right. Yep. So I think, I think that, a lot of folks maybe get a bad taste in their mouth about values because of that. And, you know, a lot of people have come from the corporate world where it just was sort of said, but not done. Right. Um, But I would guess that at some point when those values were established, they were believed and they did, they did do it. Right. And then at some point it gets too big and all that happens. But for us, it's really important because it helps to make decisions, right? You can look and say, Oh, this is, this aligns with our values. Let's do that. Right. Right. So really critical. Yep. And you can, you can come up with it with your team and figure out like the way I describe this is if somebody does your core values, they should be the perfect team member. So if they do all of them, then they should be like the perfect person for your agency. So how do we do this? And to your point is, you know, is it can't just be wishy-washy. So if you have a core value, um, like integrity, list it, but then tell the www. So why is this important to the agency? Uh, Not or the w- wide web. W-W-W-H-W. <laughs> why it's important, how it can be used in the agency, 
and give examples of 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 that. Right. So W H E. Uh, I know. I I started switching the stuff around. The we. Yeah. The we. <laughs> I like it. But yeah, so um, that's the first one. And, th- and the best way to use the core values is to hire. And anytime anything goes wrong in the agency, link them back to the core values. Well, this is not following th- the values. A- and this is what to. we do here. Yeah. yeah, this is what will he do here? This is what we do, what here. He do here. So that's it. And then the oh. second one, Mm-hmm. is mission. Oh, and this is not just some position. No, no, it's not, Mr. Craig. No, <laughs> not some position your agency's in. <laughs> but what oh. is what is what is the mission of your agency? What is the thing that you're all of your agents and you can get behind? How are you going to operate? Um, what are you guys striving for? If you were in a boat and you're rowing, what is this? island that you're getting to this heaven island that you're getting to right what is the mission that you guys are on and i think it's important to to come up with that mission that everybody can stand behind mm. it's, the, it's the batteries it's everybody's yeah. batteries in the agency to keep going oh well, it's electric <laughs> yes it's definitely yeah. electric <laughs> and then the leads are the gas right <laughs> Yeah. So mission, incredibly important as well. Um, and well-defined, it's, right? Like it has to be articulated and not just something you slap together. Like we're here to help people get insurance. Um, yeah. Probably something a little stronger, right? At that point, I would say peel the onion. Why? Right. Because they might happen? lose their things. Why? But why? Because something bad might happen. Why? You know, so that, they, yeah. They, yeah. And, and it's it's got to be... It's got to be a way that you guys operate. It has to be like we're we're doing things differently because um, one great one that I love is uh, the Apple Think Different campaign. It's like s- such a cool manifesto, if you will. Like like that's something that you could stand behind. That they're trying to change the world, you know. Uh, and, and that's where like a mission needs to be it needs to be deeper it needs to be something that you know the whole team can stand behind they they can be proud of that right. when they're not feeling like like the batteries the reason why i said the batteries is because when they don't feel like operating at 100% it gives them a reason why they got to kick it in high gear yeah, yeah. and it, it gives the consumer something to align with too right like you're yep. you do this so they the team understands they do it for this reason and the consumer realizes they do it for this reason just like uh, uh, like Nike, probably what you're saying, right? Yeah. Or I'm sorry, like Apple. Yeah. Um, it's it's the same thing, right? It's it's aligning with the consumer because the everybody is different. Everybody's an individual, right? Everybody likes to look at themselves as, as an individual. So boom, it hits right on the right on those heartstrings. Yep. So if you can do something like that. Yep, hundred percent. And then the third your one, company's right. Yeah. <laughs> and the third one is the vision nobody and i think we get we get lost in this uh this is another thing that we we're talking about this morning was we get lost in this as the owner that we don't over communicate enough with our team on the vision of the agency you know what what is this place going to be like in 6 months 12 months 3 years one of the things that keeps coming up is ai ai and all this stuff so like with this new world ahead of us, what we've dealt with with 2020, what we talked about working um, remote or not remote, like all this stuff, what is your vision for the agency of the future? And in particular, your agency and how, like, you got to have a vision statement that can communicate to your team on the future. And it's got to be a bright future because that's mm-hmm. the thing that will pull them forward. The The mission gives them the batteries to keep going when they don't feel like it. And the vision is the thing that pulls them forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think the vision also is a great reference point for looking at the team. And if you notice that it's not resonating with some people, then you know that you have the right people on or you have the wrong people on the team. Right. So really good as a temperature gauge. And again, it's like all of these things, right. As they all work together, they, they all make the decisions instead of being about the person, 
it's about these principles, right? It's about, yeah, about these, this vision about these. So it's so important to have it all documented because now it's not about the person, right? Take all the defensiveness out of it. Yep. And it, and you have to give the whys behind it, the mm. whys behind each core value, the why behind the mission statement, the why behind the vision, um, and how, how it, how it, uh, pertains to, to them, not to you as the agency owner, but to them individually. And I think that when you get real clear on this and you think of the agency that you want in the perfect world, design the core values, the mission and the vision around that and get real clear on that and then start holding everyone to that and start bringing it up in meetings, start preaching it, right? Yeah. Then in six months, in 12 months, you will have that agency that you dreamed of. Yep. Yeah. It's a hundred percent. Like it, it, we're our own worst enemy in that we, we don't believe that we can do the thing that we see the other people doing. Right. 100%. Like, yeah, I never thought that we could be at 12 million or whatever. Right. Like I don't, yeah, just didn't seem possible because the cash flow wasn't there. I had every excuse to not be able to do it right. until I did it. Yep. Right. And it's it just, like, okay. This whole thing of culture and stuff has to be by design. You you have to be intentional about this. Uh, otherwise, it will go to the default. And I'll tell you one thing. Working at in an agency as an LSP is so freaking hard. And the hardest thing to do is to hire new people and get them trained up to be proficient and to be a part of the team and to... to to get them up and running like that, that takes up so much of your resources in your agency, time, money. I mean, you name it. Um, and then you're putting yourself, uh, at risk of it being the wrong person and derailing, you know, what you've built yep. up in your agency that, I mean, we, we have to take this, uh, seriously and put intention behind it. Otherwise it, it will go awry at some point. Yeah. In the, in the last one, we talked about like the, what we did, right? Like yeah. what were the steps? And it was, it was pull ourselves back, not talk, and then focus on the culture, right? Because the, the thing that was broken in my agency for a decade or almost a decade was, was the culture. There never was a culture. And I remember saying, how does, you know, how does this agent have such a great team? I can't, as soon as somebody comes in and somebody leaves and it was always, it was because we were always desperate, right? Doing yep. it desperately. We didn't have we didn't have the the values. We didn't have any of these things laid out and we expected it just to fall into place. And it's like you said, it's by design. It's very intentional, but once it's there, it's there. Like that's, that's it, it, right? You're not going to change it next year. Oh, uh, you know what? We decided to, we don't want to go with integrity this year, right? Like, no, once you have the things in place because they're your values, they're there. That's it. The hard work is done, Right. Yep. Now it's all just gravy and easy and candy and unicorns. Yeah. No, it's still hard, but, but it's more effective. hundred yeah. percent. So if you enjoyed this, like subscribe, yep. Join the group. Ooh, jo join can the they, newsletter. Can they pound the like button? Yeah. Or yeah, just, Oh, maybe not that motion. That was weird. Yeah. That Sorry might be, that, that might be aggressive. No, it's donkey Kong with the hammer. And that's a problem. Bye.